uh, it's five after, so um, thank you everyone for joining. Um, as a reminder, these meetings are recorded. We post them online after the fact so people can uh, uh, watch them if they were not able to be here. Um, so I probably should share my screen since I forgot to do that. Do that right now so we can see that. So we can see the agenda. Can everyone see that? Yep. Awesome. Um, so the agenda is uh, just introductions, board farm status from all, uh, funding OpenWRT projects, which obviously involves the TR069 update. A regulatory update, OpenWRT Summit uh, news, and um, um, Paul had asked uh, to talk about uh, the purple stamp a little, the the um, you know potential and some some news on that. Um, so introductions. Is there anybody new here that hasn't been at one of the at one of the purple WRT meetings? I think everyone here has been. All right, we will uh, skip that then. Um, board farm status. Um, I, I, I I've been out of it since I was on vac since I was in Paris and on vacation then uh, until um, yesterday. So I have not really been up too much on what's going on or, or done anything on my end. I did see that um, Matt McClintock had um, had accepted a number of pull requests for people that for. Um, the Kibana uh, Elasticsearch integration, I believe. Um, to, the, I think it, there's a, like a tutorial or some documentation that previously wasn't there. Um, that, for those who aren't aware, that's really used for um, visual visualizing the results. Um, so you can go show them to people and say, hey, all these things passed, things like that. Anything Eric? else? Yep. Uh, yeah, do you have some time to activate this on your demo instance you have running there to, so that I, we can see how this would look like? So I think you can um, buy, I think I found someone who offers uh, this um, cabana for $45 per month. You, that's, uh, and then you, that should be sufficient, um, as you said, and you can pull the data in there so that we yeah we have a demo from this, this yeah. nice graphics and so on sure i mean i, I think i I'll, I'll try to fit it in I'm, I'm not sure when i'll have time but i mean i can i can work on that it, any uh help that folks can provide certainly that can save me time on that you know certainly helpful if folks want to but i can probably find some time probably i would assume next week um maybe you can also ask matthew mcclintock before he gets busy Yes, that's another. Yeah, he would be good. I'll, I'll talk to him yeah. since he was the one who accepted the pull requests. Yeah, have him do it. Definitely. That'd be great. Yeah, we had, I think there was a discussion on the IRC some some days ago when you were not there and mm -hmm. about this topic. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I'll check in on that. I that's another thing that I, that I would need to get a logger started for the IRC channel. I haven't got a. I, it's on my to-do list that seems to get longer okay. every day. Um, if anyone has any experience with that or would want to do that, that's another thing. We could get a, lo a logger set up so we would have a log. Hey, Eric, right. this is Gautam. Uh, I, jo I joined in the meantime. didn't want to interrupt you. So yep. with, the, with the IRC, lo IRC logger, uh, I can have you, have you with that to set up some egg drop bots and, uh, and maybe put it, put it onto a website or just a simple HTTP link, uh, so I can help you with that if you need. Awesome, that would be so helpful. Thank you, Zoltan. That's great. That's that's awesome. I will. Uh, I'll get a hold of you after the meeting, and we can we can talk about that. Great. Sure. All right. Anything else about Board Farm that people wanna wanna talk about? All right. Uh, funding OpenWRT projects. Well, we have the, the three projects to be funded. Um, I had to contact um, our internal people on trying to get the, the lightweight agreement. Um, unfortunately, that's not going as quickly as I had hoped. Um, so 
we will I'll keep pushing on that. Um, so uh, those, it shouldn't be a big issue, but we just need to get that those uh, that agreement in place. The the big thing, obviously, is the TR zero sixty nine update. Um, uh, I I can I can give the update for I assume most of the people were here, but I, I don't know how much update people got from about the meeting. I would have to say that it went extremely well. Um, I don't think there's any that would be a, a stretch of the imagination at all. I, I think it went very well, um, and I think there's a pretty clear plan forward uh, on on what's going to be happening. Um, I, I I had emailed the list, um, kind of that summary that I was asked to make of of, of the decisions and kind of the, the plan forward. the The group is going to work um, on an internal base camp that uh, Purple is uh, that I've set up, and that's more just because it's simple to get started and share things, and also because there may be some sharing of um, code early on that is not um, not ready to be released to the public. Um, so to help with some of the integration, to make sure that uh, whatever the exact design is, uh, is uh, meets everybody's requirements. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I think I think it went really well. Um, and I, I just talked to I had emailed Felix today, and I think we just need a, a, a final proposal from him on you know kind of what he proposes um, for a contract, and then have to obviously get it approved by the appropriate people inside Purple to get started. But um, if you have interest in that base camp group, I, I don't think there's any. I don't. I don't think we're being particularly restrictive with access. So I mean, please let me know, and we can we can add you to it um, to be involved in the discussion, I think. I Any, know, can, yeah. can you add me? Yes. Uh, okay, thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely, I will add you, okay. Yep, definitely. Any other uh, thoughts or questions with the TR069 uh, topic? Hey, this is uh, Tim Carey. I was wondering if you could add me. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to be in the project or not, but I'm trying to understand exactly what, what what's going on and, and, and figure out if I am should be part of it. So okay. I'm still yeah, just trying I, to figure this out. Yeah, I, we, I think we'll be able to add you. Um, I, it okay. seems it, it, it really is just kind of um, right now a, a way to – move forward from everybody kind of having their own TR-069 stack to um, how do we kind of standardize and they're t on, on a single one. But obviously there's a, there's a process of um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, just adapting over time. Obviously nobody's going to just drop everything they have and nor should they. Um, until we we have a, have a good start, so there's going to be a kind of steps of um, making it so that you can fit your own work into a uh, into a standardized kind of interface and standardized system. So, right, but I thought that's what the meeting, uh, the uh, uh, Paris meeting was to do to build the uh, decide on the framework going forward, right? Yeah, and and there there has been a, it's it's a basically i would say an outline of the framework um there's the process is going to it's going to be a i think a bit of a it's going to take some time to get it you know the exact interfaces and things like that down which is what once felix's proposal is sent and funded you know i assume funded then that's where we would go but the general design of the framework. I, I did email that to the list, but I, I'm putting it on the base camp too, so I'll, I'll add you to that. Thank you, Tim. I appreciate it. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Hello, everybody. Sorry for coming late. I had another meeting that that took more time than expected. No, no problem. Thanks for making it, Wojtek. We appreciate having you. Um, yeah, any other thoughts on the tier 069 stuff or anything people want to talk about? All right. Um, nothing really on the regulatory update. I was hoping Art could be here because I know he was going to meet with the uh, the FCC folks, but I'm, I 
that was during the time I was gone, and so I'm not quite sure if he if he did meet with them or or if he settled if they settled on a date or and if so any updates on that topic. Um, so that's kind of where we are. Uh, Open WRT Summit. We received a. I just got a um, a proposed agreement uh, from the Linux Foundation yesterday. I have I since I had an seemingly unending list of emails to go through from being gone for a week. I uh, I haven't actually looked into the details on that. Um, one of the plans is because um, to get some of the some of the logistics work off my off my plate. I know um, Purple has a uh, we have a an intern for at least the summer, uh, Shandis Bemanian. Um, she's going to be taking on some of that some of that work. Um, I'm still going to be the chair of the of the committee, and um, but uh, she's just going to handle some of that some of the legwork on that to uh, help with that. But just want people to know that. If you get an email from Shandis or something, that that is why uh, that's why it we uh, why it happened. Um, so things are going good there. Uh, there was some discussion also about the uh, request for proposals that was on the um, summit committee list. Um, I'm not sure if um, if folks have had a chance to comment on that or if they have any other suggestions for things we should put in there. Um, if not, or if you do, you know, feel free to. Uh, to email um, and uh, and comment on that. Uh, any other discussion on, on the summit? All right, and that for some reason that reminded me. Um, I do know that uh, there was a proposal on the uh, purple on or on uh, purple. Uh, excuse me on the open WRT. Uh, Devel list and uh, the lead list um, from uh, Imre, uh, Felix, and Luca, uh, who who did actually meet in Paris and discuss the the idea of an in person uh, meeting with uh, the uh, the uh, between the uh, lead and OpenWRT folks. Um, not really sure if there's been any any real movement on that or, or what the next steps are, but I do know that that was sent out. So um, just wanted to have that on people's radar. Um, Eric, Eric, on that one, I think mainly the question is about the timing, yep. uh, which, uh, as, uh, which as far as I know, Imre is trying to work out with Felix and, and the, uh, members of both teams. Okay, awesome. That's good to hear. I'm glad glad there's uh, something going on there. I was um, glad to hear. So, yeah, definitely. Zol that's, that's Zoltan on that on that topic. Is it is it mainly going to be a technical meeting, or is there any need for any? I mean, do you guys want any facilitators? Anyone that knows about? You know, just. Uh, governance structure is there any business or legal aspects or is it all technical um, I would think that at, at, this, at this point in time I would say I would think it's mostly gonna be technical or trying to work out the um, differences in opinion between the two teams so I, I don't know if, if, if we are gonna need uh, let's say governance or legal or, or, or any kind of stuff like that. I hope that we're not going to move into the legal area, uh, so to okay. say. Uh, about the facilitator, uh, that's a very good question. I cannot answer that right now. Okay. Just just so that you guys are aware, I, I happen to have gone to college undergrad with a guy who now is a volunteer at the Software Freedom Conservancy, and he's gotten very engaged in... Uh, software licensing foundations and so on and so forth so if you need a someone to bounce ideas off of i can i can make an introduction thanks very much Kathy. We, uh, I, will, I, will, I will keep it in mind okay that's great by the way kathy who who are who is that you're referring to uh, his his name is tom marble <laughs> Oh, I don't know him. Okay. Um, Marvel. All right. He goes to That's all true. the FOSTEM conferences and mm -hmm. he, he works mainly in cybersecurity. 
but he's okay. been using OpenWRT recently, and uh, uh, yeah, a really good guy. Awesome. He's awesome. based in the U- U.S. He's based in Minnesota, actually. Oh, cool. All right. Well, th- uh, awesome to have a potential resource there, definitely. But yeah, so we will see how that goes, uh, hopefully in a positive direction, but um, that's very much on the... Uh, the direction it goes is very much up to the uh, OpenWRT and lead folks, not us. So I will um, certainly, they're taking the lead on that as they should. Um, that is all I had, uh, particularly uh, the the purple stamp. Um, Paul, you want to talk about that. I'll let you kind of go there. And handle yeah, it. hi. Um it's it was yeah verbal stamp kind of comes into it but i was really just um i'm wanting to sort of show people that there is quite a few boards um i mean i've personally been looking at mip solutions because obviously that's of interest to us which claim to support openwrt and are in the kind of developer maker space can i share the screen uh sure i can um i should be able to let me give you access. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to share the screen because you are connected via browser, but uh, okay. I'll I, try. See what happens. I promoted you. So if you can, you have that ability now. All right. Yeah, no, it's grayed out. Fine. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I thought I had, um, I thought I had Fuse installed on this PC, but clearly not. Anyway, so we we had a look around and found sort of a dozen or so sort of IoT focused mainly um, MIPS based development boards out there. Things like Arduino Cloud, Arduino Yun, Vocor, Unwired One. Uh, yeah, I can, I can comment on the Arduino ones. And in fact, we had a summit that was our summit in Italy. And I talked to the main guy, Arturo, who manages the OpenWRT implementation. He says he has developed a bunch of patches to push back to the OpenWRT core. So that's a good, right, step. Right. good step. Yeah, yeah. What I'm not sure about is whether and you know, they all claim to have OpenWRT support, but whether that's uh, their own forks or it's pushed into pushed back into the the main branch, I'm not sure. Um, but I wondered whether it was worth <clears throat> starting to think about you know, promoting OpenWRT in the developer space by adding some of these things to Board Farm. And that's where it kind of links into Purple Stamp as we were kind of thinking of it. Um, yeah, I, I think these... so. absolutely yeah. we should do that, yeah. And, Excellent. And, and another thing that I think we could promote is just like on the TR69 and the carrier gateway space on the IoT side, you know, are there are there packages or applications or protocols or you know means to facilitate IoT type um, communications and communications and stuff management. that yeah that we'd want to add to sort well, of make an IoT build. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. That well, that kind of links into. Um, Imagination's been working on a LWN to M open source stack, um, which we can go into more detail. I won't do it now, but you know we're obviously keen to uh, to promote that in any way we can, um, and possibly we could sort of add that as a second stamp that you'd have this, you know, various depending on whether it's like a gateway or a node or whatever, then you you'd be able to say, well, that's tested against. Um, LWM to M. It's called our LWM to M, which is the project name for us. Um, we have our own test harness already, so those sorts of things are all open source, or they're planned to be. I think we're almost there. Um, designed to be able to work with any with any cloud backend, so it might fit in quite nicely with what you're saying. If I'm understanding you right. Uh, yeah, that would. Yeah, that. That's exactly right. If we have ways or, or little test scripts to test some of these protocols or packages or anything that are added, I think Node Node.js is popular. We've got an instance for Snap, 
which is like one of these blockly ways of programming a microcontroller from the Linux partition, the open number T. So there's a bunch of things we could uh, we could do. And I just uh, started talking about board farm to to the um, Arduino development team, and maybe that could be added uh, some microcontroller based scripts as well. Yeah. Just oh. Just didn't don't want to cut you off. Is everyone here um, familiar with Purple Stamp? The idea that was kind of um, it's been we've been talking about. Not really. Can you please uh, give an introduction? Absolutely, definitely. Uh, Purple Stamp. This is something, um, and I, I can you know I can do it, or you know Paul can discuss this. But it, Purple Stamp was um, very early on in Purple. The idea was um, I don't want to say the word certify, even though I keep. Uh, wanting to think it a, a system for basically publicly verifying that a particular um, piece of hardware meets some standard um, basically so if, and it kind of works well with board farm in the sense of basically you could have a piece of hardware that is put into board farm and we do a set of tests and we say we verify that it does run upstream open wrt or we verify that it does um you know it supports uh you know tr69 or some something we're verifying so that a developer or a um or company could start just look at a piece of hardware and have confidence that it meets that kind of standard and that it does these things and that somebody in a that independent has verified and it's not just some company saying it and then you know it's their in reality, it's actually their own fork of OpenWRT, which is not well maintained, and get some sort of uh, clarity because there isn't a lot of that out there in this, in, especially in the IoT space. I think is a particular area. Um, so this was very early on when Purple started. This was kind of brought up. We, um, um, I had made a very lightweight, uh, pro you know, proposal, and it, it just kind of never, never went too far. There just wasn't enough interest, but. Uh, Paul had actually brought up the idea related to the creator program. Um, and uh, there just seemed to be a lot of interest all of a sudden that there were people that wanted this type of thing. So, so Paul has kind of um, um, been very much involved in, you know, kind of looking at, you know, what are the type of things that should be involved in if Purple were to have some sort of verification program. Um, what would be involved in that and do we have the enough hardware available to uh and people who would want to be verified and things like that paul do you think that's yeah. a good description of what that's a pretty good looking? description definitely i the only thing to add is that the creative program is is img's own kind of iot mm -hmm. platform thing and it really was sort of imagination trying to do everything themselves which i don't think is the right approach uh, and it would make a lot more sense to merge that more with sort of purple stamp and start to get more MIPS based uh, devices which are not designed by us specifically um, mm -hmm. included. So, I mean, uh, a couple of things came up when we had a, a purple dis a purple stamp discussion before um, Eric and Kathy. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Kathy, whether you were there or not, but um, one of them was the cost of the boards and these these development boards are all sub hundred dollars easily most of them very much like so the link kit smart is thirteen dollars um oh wow and there's and tools wise there was a question about tools like how do we work with all these disparate tools from various different providers um i think we'd have to sort of put a proviso in saying well there needs to be some over the air update mechanism or something and Hopefully, with these boards being so, so low cost, you know, if we do end up with bricked boards, we can always just request or buy more. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, you know, I think the, the the main two concerns that were raised at the time about board cost and tools, hopefully, are not going to be issues. Um, so, I guess then the the next question is. Um, Maybe as you were saying, Kathy, we could sort of pick one of these that we know Jan might be a good option and have a go. I'm not sure who could do that. Um, yeah, I could, I could get the hardware. Would, would, would I send it to Eric, uh, like the Yun, the Tian, 
And there's a couple uh, of Yoon variants. We could do that. Um, I, I, I think one thing we do have to do is is know exactly what we're testing. Um, mm -hmm. And but and I was assuming it's just, just a little bit fun. The just straight out as is, and then go from there. And yeah. More. I mean, what I'm fishing around for here is you know we don't have loads of resources ourselves, but you know it yeah. can help. Um, I do think these sort of development boards are our interest, and I don't know whether you know what what the original plan was for um for farm but presumably you you want you're really saying what purple stamp would be saying right so you're saying this is a certified platform for open wrt and people who are hackers and developers would would find that useful for a lot of these boards that i've, I've listed out i can send you the file which shows all the different boards that we found yeah, yeah that, that sounds good because I think I think step one is just showing that it has, you know, trunk support and releases, you know, A A B B C C something like mm -hmm. that support, and and then uh, and then we augment from there additional packages, protocols, capabilities. And and as yep. part of that, certainly the um, the features. I mean, those should be added as tests to board farm, um, certainly, and, and anybody can certainly do that. Whether it's yeah. um, what exactly the process is for um, saying, oh, this is uh, verified or something. I don't know if we have that yet. And one other thing is mm -hmm. that if purple stamp is a, is a peg, which I think is a likely direction this would go, mm -hmm. um, that has to get approval by the board. So, yep. um, but this would be kind of get you know get things started, show that you know there's there's some interest here, and that this is this is feasible and things like that. Um, Definitely, and I think just showing that there are things which could immediately be added, um, well not definitely. immediately, but fa fairly simply be added, yeah. um, then that hopefully will improve our chances of uh, getting a peg, and. You know, I, I think it's going to be one of those snowball things. So, so once the manufacturers of these boards sort of realize that they're getting kind of promoted, um, maybe we yes. can get more effort from them and not have to do everything ourselves. Yes, I mean the the more work that that is done uh, ahead of time, the, you know, the easier it's going to be for everyone because you know mm -hmm. it's a it's not for the ones that I'm particularly unsure on, and I don't know if you, how much experience you had paul and but um i know that that obviously qualcomm atheros is very well supported in board farm i don't mm -hmm. know on the support level for other other uh you know brands um sure, which is sure, sure. not a not a complaint it's completely reasonable that's the way it is it's just <laughs> they wrote it uh so yeah. um, so that's it, you know, if it's a completely different different processor version, there more there are going to be quirks that need to be worked out. So, mm -hmm. um, and that can be that could be pretty substantial. I don't know, but it could be. And I think we need to judge whether there's any interest from the develop the board, the platform developers themselves, to be involved. But it's one of those things where it's going to be a an initial injection of work to get mm -hmm. things rolling before you get the interest. I, I imagine. Probably true. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, that's really it. I was just awesome. Wanted to share that. Right. Um, anything else about Purple Stamp or any other topic? All right. Well, um, I guess uh, thank you everyone for coming. Um, we. Uh, you know, great meeting as always, and uh, we'll uh, see everyone again next week. Cheers. All right. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. 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 Bye.